Hey everybody, my name is Anthony, and I'm excited to chat with you tonight about baptism. When Jesus first came on the scene, there was this guy named John hanging out in a river. Everybody called him John the Baptist because he dunked people under water in that river, and that was called baptism. When John baptized people, it was like a commitment for them to take their faith in God seriously to live it out in their daily lives, to be people who are radically loving and trustworthy, because God is radically loving and trustworthy. And one of the first things Jesus did when he came out into the public to start talking about God's love and God's justice was go to John. Jesus himself was baptized by John. And then for the next three years, Jesus did his Jesus thing, talking about the kingdom of God, healing people who were sick, and all that good stuff. Eventually, he was executed. It was brutal. And then on the third day, he rose from the dead. I mean, it's ridiculous. And he started talking to his followers, and he said, go tell the world about me. Tell the world what God is really like. Invite people to follow me and live by my teachings. And whenever somebody accepts that invitation, I want you to baptize them. So for 2,000 years, followers of Jesus have been baptized with water as a way of saying, yep, I'm a part of this Jesus movement. And today, baptism looks different at different churches. So if you're part of community groups on Wednesdays, but your family's part of a different church on Sundays, Maybe you were baptized when you were a baby. Here at Blackhawk, baptism is a choice that you can make for yourself. Check it out. I'm Jonathan Hager. My story starts at Blackhawk because that's the church that we went to as a family. Uh, but most of the time, a lot of the church things that we did, like reading the Bible, going to the groups, going to church, they always sort of felt like not very important and sort of like just a check off a list that I had to do because that was always my life. But in the last two years I really started like digging deeper into the faith and just reading the Bible by myself and like forming my own thoughts and opinions and like really listening to the sermons. And after talking to a couple people from my family and from outside my family about the faith and watching a couple of people go through a little bit of struggles with that, it's really like solidified my commitment to become a Christian. Buried with Christ, risen to walk a new life. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's weird, it's awesome, and I love it. And like I said, baptism looks different at different churches, in different ways, in different communities. My family, for example, Half of my family follows Jesus, the other half, not so much. Those of us who do follow Jesus have all been baptized, but in different states, different churches, and in different ways. When I first saw baptism at Black Hawk Church, I knew that that was the way that I wanted to commit to Jesus. That was the way that I wanted to say, this church community is my home. It makes sense to me, and that is how I want to commit to Jesus. In our small groups, we're going to read a passage from the Bible that helps us think about what baptism means. But before we do, I've got a simple question for you. Are you committed to Jesus? Not your family, not the person sitting next to you. You. Is Jesus your king, your teacher? Yes, no, or I'm not sure? If you'd say yes, and you've never been baptized before, we would love to see you get baptized at an upcoming service. Your small group leader will get you more information on that a little later. And who knows? What if we had a student ministry cheering session at the next baptism services? That would be fantastic! Let me pray for us as we head into our small group conversations. God, I thank you for this opportunity to remember what baptism was like for you. We hope that this baptism story can help our students understand how they can commit to you. We thank you for this wonderful evening. 
the students, the volunteers, and the time that you've given us together. It's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen.